Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to create ribbon custom actions in SharePoint 2013. So, we will take a small case study where uh, we want to allow users to go to list and click on one of the button control. Uh, we will name that button control as get username. Okay, so whenever they click it, they will redirect from host web to the app web to display the current username details okay so let's go ahead and open visual studio to create a project for a simple app which displays the current username open visual studio okay click on file to create a new project click new click on project okay choose app for SharePoint 2013 and name the project as get username ok click ok this is my office 365 site url where we are going to deploy this app and the hosted methodology we are going to choose is SharePoint hoster and click finish to create the project so the project has been created and if you go and see the app.js file this is going to display the current username title ok now to add ribbon custom action so ok select the project right click click on add click on new item ok select the ribbon custom action out of the all items and this is going to for a list so I am going to say ribbon custom action have a list this is the name I am going to give click on add to add this item to the project now in the next step it is going to ask where you want to deploy this custom action we are going to deploy it host web because we need to uh, call app from the host web so keep that one as it is next if you come back to the next action custom action scope 2 I'll keep this one also as it is list template if you want to check the options you have one more option called list instance so but I'm keeping this one for list in, list template and the item will be a custom list okay and click next where you want to put this button control if you see other options backspang the drop down you have various list item new manage share workflow but I'm gonna keep this one under list item actions I'm going to name this label as get username this will be the label text for the button control and once the user click on that particular button to which page we need to redirect right now we have only one page in this app that is default.aspx I'm gonna keep this one app, this one itself if you have additional pages you can redirect this action to the other pages so click finish to create the ribbon custom action a button control okay it has generated the elements.xml file if you see the custom action you have uh, registration type for list and registration id is 100 where is the location is going to be which will be under ribbon okay and this has generated the button control okay and the handler is going to perform action to redirect to the default.aspx page which is under app web. okay so let's go ahead and deploy this to our site right click on the project click on deploy keep an eye on output window okay so now it's installing the app and to install the app it's uploading the app for SharePoint just give a moment it will get deployed okay so it's installation is in progress now yeah app was installed at this particular place okay so let's go ahead and open the app and this is our site so 
so that means this is our host web okay now we are going to use that ribbon custom action button control to call the app which is going to display the current username so let's go ahead and open the custom list click on custom list here this is our custom list and if I go to items I have get username button here so click on this it has successfully displayed a username once you click on the host web so in this example you are seeing three buttons because I have already deployed a couple of them which is of similar in nature so that's the reason so let's go back to the presentation okay this is what we have seen uh, displaying a current username whenever user clicks on the button control in the ribbon which will navigate to SharePoint hosted app from host web to display that thank you for your time we'll see you in next lesson